What up guys, it's Andrew from HTC One South Modern, and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the DPI and font size on a per app basis with exposed and app settings. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your HTC One is rooted and that you have exposed installed. After you got both of those, just open up exposed installer, go to the download section, and then download um, app settings. Click on download and then it'll install just like any other module would. So go ahead and click install. Let it do its thing. Click done. Now go back to your module section. Enable it. Go back to your framework section and then reboot your phone. Alright, so now once you've been rebooted you can go ahead and start changing your apps. For this one I'm going to change the Google Plus app because by default it doesn't look like it fills up the screen too well. It kind of seems like it's too cluttered and you know, it could look a lot nicer. So in order to do that, just open up app settings from your app drawer, let all the packages load, and then search for plus, for Google+. Plus. After you have that, turn on the settings, and you'll be able to change the DPI, font scale, the full screen. So let's say I want it to take up more of the screen and look more full. In order to do that, by default, your DPI is 480, so if you want it to fill up the screen more, you're going to lower it. So for this one, I'll change it to 440. And the font scale is based on 100%. It's not based on pixels, so if you like the font the way it is, leave it at 100. And if not, you could always come back into the app settings and then change that as well. You could also change the, um, the full screen mode. You could force it to be full screen, you could prevent it from going full screen, or you could add the new immersive mode that Google put in to the um, to KitKat. Now immersive mode um, is not enabled by default but if you want to just go ahead and check on that. You could also change permissions as well but if you like the way that the app runs don't start messing with that that's more for advanced users. After you have all of that done click on the save button on top it'll let you know to kill the app before you relaunch it and then after that go ahead and run the app. Now you can see that the app takes up all the screen real estate better and then it looks like it fills the entire screen more so than it did before. Now this does affect every panel in the app itself but it does not apply all the settings to every app on your phone. Everything else will look the same just the ones that you changed. And now immersive mode allows you to bring the status bar from the top down whenever you like by, by dragging down and it'll, after that it will go away. Alright guys, I hope this helped you out. Be sure to check out the full tutorial in the description. And like always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a good one, guys.